What is going on guys? As I'm sure you have read the title to this video, I just spent some serious cash on some really fancy fabric. It's sewed together in a really fancy way. Dominikai, Dominikai fabric. A little bit of nylon, a little bit of Kevlar. That's what I'm talking about guys. I am like, I'm so excited, okay? My sister and I drove over two and a half hours this morning to go and buy this thing, okay? And I am so excited, if you can't tell, okay? Here we go, it's in here. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Look at that, just look at it. You're probably like, what the heck is that? Is that a tent? No, it's not a tent, okay? It's not a tent. It is a paraglider. You don't know what a paraglider is? My gosh, you don't know what a paraglider is. Well, here's Google, okay? What is the definition of a paraglider? Here's the definition of paraglider, a wide canopy resembling a parachute that is attached to a person's body by a harness in order to allow them to glide through the air after jumping from or being hauled to a height to a height, okay? It's a flying wing and it's made out of fabric and you attach yourself to it with little tiny Kevlar and nylon strings, okay? We will get to laying it out later. It's kind of windy to set it up right now, but we can do some other things in the meantime, okay? It came with a windsock, which is gonna be really cool. And we're gonna put that up here in a minute. But let me talk about the paraglider for a second. I have wanted to get a paraglider for a long time and I finally decided just to do it and stop thinking about it. I am going to try and self-teach myself, self-taught, self-teach, self-learn, teach myself how to fly, um, which is strongly, strongly discouraged by everyone. I've read a lot of books and watched a lot of YouTube. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm gonna teach myself how to fly. I think I'm in a little bit different situation than most people as I've grown up around planes my whole life. I've lived a mile away from one for most of my life and now I'm living right next to, we have like a grass strip right on our property. That's four airplanes and I have my pilot's license. I've been flying since I can remember. So I think I have a little bit of advantage. I'm not saying that conventional airplanes, you know, the skills transfer right over. I'm sure they don't, but I do have a little bit of an understanding of aerodynamics and flight and what makes it go up and airspace and weather and things like that, which are all very important things. So I'm gonna try and self-teach myself how to fly this paraglider. Right now, all I have is a wing, so I can't do much. I need to buy a harness, I haven't got that yet. And eventually I'm gonna buy a motor as well and turn it into a powered paraglider. But in the meantime, we can do some kiting, even without a harness. You can kite it by hand and just like ground control it. So we're gonna do that, which is very important. It's your first steps. It's what you wanna learn first, is how to kite the glider. You need to get about, they say 15 to 20 hours of kiting before you should try your first flights. And because I don't have a motor yet, my first flights, and we don't have any hills here, like, yeah, we don't have any hills here in North Dakota. There's no such thing. Anyway, well maybe there is, okay. But you can tow them up. So my plan is to use a four-wheeler and a rope and tow myself in the air, which is very strongly discouraged by everyone. Again, mm, they just discourage everything, okay? They say, yeah, you gotta have a certified tow guy. And Okay, I'm gonna be careful, okay? I'm gonna be careful. There's some things you need to watch for from what I've read in books, but I, I think it can be done. I think it can be done. 
and we're gonna try. Okay, but right now, um, came with a few extra things, like a really cool wind sock, which I said before. Triple Seven is the company. The paraglider I got is a Triple Seven Knight. It's an ENB wing, but we're gonna take this wind sock and we are gonna set it up because like I said before, it's too, or it's too windy to kite it right now. You really wanna do it in really low winds, especially when you're starting out. So we're gonna set up the wind sock now and hopefully we'll be able to kite it a little bit tonight when the winds have died down a little bit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your skill in picking leaves? Alrighty guys, it's another day. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning and we are gonna try this thing. We got a slight breeze, probably like three miles an hour or something. Got the wing here. There we are. Got it all laid out. Now, like I said before, I do not have a harness, so. Four to six weeks later. What I didn't have last time is this harness. So now I've got a harness, so it's a lot easier to kite with a harness. And then we've got 200 feet of paracord here that we're gonna use to tow up uh, with this four-wheeler. And like Tucker Gott says, the best thing to use to tow is a four-wheeler. So uh, the redneck style of tying a 50-foot rope behind your ATV snowmobile or pickup truck and flooring it is not the way to do towing. Oh, and I have jumped the gun a little bit and done some towing without you guys. I didn't film it, but that's okay because we're gonna do it again right now, today. So I've already done it a couple times and it's working out pretty well. Uh, the first time we did it though, uh, we didn't have a release. Here's what I'm using for releases. I'm actually using um, bow and arrow releases <laughs> and the first time we did it I only had one on me and not the four-wheeler and so it can be a little sketchy if you go into what's called lockout and I don't know if you like couldn't release or something and yeah it could it's better to have one on both ends so that David can release or I can release and yeah that's about it all right, so we have a little bit of crosswind, so we're gonna we're out here in the middle of the wheat field that we just harvested. So now we can go right into the wind, which is a good thing. Glenn. We're in there somewhere. All right, guys, filming. I am ready. This is gonna take like 20 minutes. Give me Glenn's 20. ready. Give I'm me ready. 20. Give me 20. Wind is picking up. Joshua got untangled. Thank him for that. That took a long time. Hooked me up, Scotty. Yes. No. Yes. All right, guys. There we go. That's my release. Oh, my gloves. They're on the four wheeler. Alrighty.
Beautiful! Alright guys, once I disconnect, I'm going to try a turn. I've never done a turn before, but I'm going to try to do a right turn. Like a 360 and then land back into the wind. It's going to be sweet. Alright guys, try two. I'm going to do a 360 if all goes well. <laughs> he unhooked me, I think. <laughs> Did you unhook me? Yeah. You retard. You were in luck. <laughs> I was not. You were crashing. What do you mean? Okay, guys. <laughs> that was probably my worst fail yet. I got a line tangled. That was a fast landing. I didn't get all the way around. I was. Okay, that was a success. A couple crashes, but you know, that was David's fault. <laughs> he released me when I had three foot of air. <laughs> no, it was good. <clears throat> I was surprised how soft the stubble was though, actually, it didn't hurt at all. That is paragliding for you. Um, I'm hoping to get a motor for it this fall sometime but I'm not really sure yet. It's gonna be electric, open PPG one. I'll leave the link in the description. I'll leave the link to my glider and harness too, if you wanna look them up, you know, in case you wanna get one or something. They won't be affiliated, so you know, it's just info. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super excited about my paragliding journey and yeah. Thanks for my driver and emergency releaser. See you guys later. Cut. Recording.
what's up um quen squad the viewers yeah this is gonna be the end scene of this video peace out